Many companies are struggling today to increase the yield per account or territory. They need to cross-sell more and reach more buyer decision makers. However, these strategies often represent a sales execution challenge. In today's noisy, fragmented and distracted world, it's becoming more and more difficult for sales managers to define sales priorities, enroll the team, instill accountability, and focus on what matters most. If everything's important, then nothing is important. So what can organizations do to help their teams overcome this complexity? There are three critical roles involved in breaking through growth barriers. Each function needs to make the right decision and have access to the right frameworks to help. These sales execution roles are the sales manager, the sales leader, and the sales enablement team. These three roles must work together to ensure that salespeople can execute the sales strategy. In that way, it's important not to confuse execution with doing things to salespeople and expecting salespeople to do something in return. Performance is not about giving salespeople mandates and expecting them to accomplish random activities. They're not robots. They're humans, after all. Let's take a top-down look at sales execution. From the CEO perspective, sales execution means successfully target which markets, which companies, and which customers to sell in order to create value for investors. In that way, sales execution is simply about ensuring the successful pursuit and achievement of the sales strategy. The sales strategy helps inform performance decisions through critical questions like, what coverage model are we using? Like investments in field or portfolio segments. What results are we expecting? Is it for higher close rates or win rates and booking revenue? What skills do we need to achieve success? Are we onboarding new reps or streamlining sales enablement training processes? How do we need to structure the sales force? Do we need to reorganize the sales team to leverage leadership strengths? What adjustments do we need to make to our processes? Do we need to change the sales process to educate buyers? What is the role of sales management? Are we increasing accountability for results? And how will we ensure we're on the right track? Providing daily and monthly routines create the right activities. When execution aligns with the sales strategy, sales leaders can get the number through their companies while driving client value. Successful sales execution is evident in larger deal sizes, faster sales cycles, and improved win rates. So how do sales leaders ensure successful sales execution? To start, sales leaders know they must prioritize to drive the right mix of initiatives, focus on outcomes by creating discipline, and ensure individual contributors have what they need for success. In short, the concept of sales execution is much easier said than done, but it's why sales managers exist. The challenge is today, sales execution is becoming more and more difficult due to two often hidden problems. One, organizational complexity, where it's not clear what processes to follow. And two, individual ambiguity, where people aren't sure what to do. Both of these forces can create gray areas that lead to low morale and internal friction. At Growth Matters, we help our clients implement a 5C execution framework created in the field, working alongside sales leaders in fast-growing companies. We created the 5C framework to help them accelerate sales execution. The 5C model includes key disciplines of clarity, command, communication, collaboration, and cadence. Let's take a look. Clarity is the first thing sales leaders need to provide to their teams. Salespeople need to know why they're being asked to work differently. So many times, many random things are happening. Everyone has the right intention to do well, but salespeople are often unsure of how to use the help provided. For example, why are we implementing an enablement platform? What's in it for sales? Why do we need to cross-sell? Sales leaders need to provide the clarity to move salespeople out of the gray area that often exists. The next thing sales leaders need to look at 
is who needs to be involved. That's why collaboration is required in today's selling environment. Not only working with teammates in sales, but also working across silos to ensure the right information and right subject matter expertise is supporting sales. For example, whom are the resources allocated to support this rollout? Who has veto power? Whom do sellers have access to? The next C involves vital attention towards the conversations required. This is the C of communication. Communication requires precision to avoid confusion when relaying messages that matter most to customers. For example, what do we say and to which buyers? What are the communicated expectations of this upcoming initiative? The next C in the framework is what is our working cadence? If we're working on something, we must ensure we get the right people together at the right time. For example, how do we work together remotely or in person? When do we ensure things need to happen? For many, they understand these elements and may think that that's good enough for execution. People should know why they're doing something, know who's involved, what we need to have conversations about, and also when they need to meet to make it happen. But if it were that simple, salespeople wouldn't need leadership, management, and coaching support. In order to execute the final C of the framework, we need sales leaders to have command to make decisions and make trade-offs in the day-to-day. -day. For example, are we inspecting what we're expecting? How do we escalate challenges productively? With sales execution aligned to sales strategy, salespeople have a better chance of increasing their relevance and winning more deals. Execution is more important today than ever. Salespeople often have to deal with friction and complexity that can impede clarity, collaboration, communication, cadence, and command. With sales managers involved as the owners of sales execution, the sales strategy can succeed and the sales team can win. Let's talk more about sales execution and helping your sales team perform. There is likely a more precise and active role that your sales management and sales enablement team can take to drive your go-to market strategy. Visit us online at www.growthmatters.today because growth matters today and every day.